we'll start it off. This is Ryan Library. Um, so as you can see, it's three stories high and it goes up a level of quietness. So technically the top floor is actually completely silent, which is really nice. I get um, a lot of great studying done up there, which is so fun. Um, there's a bunch of computer labs, printing services are free and everything. Um, and yeah, that's an amazing library that we have. I'll walk around. This is our bio and chem department. It's called Seder Hall. And we'll give you the full grand tour of it. We have 13 amazing people on this right now. Oh, love them. My hands are probably very shaky right now. I apologize. <laughs> it's just my, my shaky hand syndrome. Okay, so there are 13 research labs in Seder Hall. We have an amazing bio and chem department. You can be pre-med here on campus. All of the works. You usually see a bunch of people with lab coats also, which is really fun. And it's kind of cool. It has like a few stories really nice facilities this building was just built in 2015 so it's super new state of the art and now we're walking on to wasson terrace this is a great study spot on campus there's plenty of tables plenty of seating and it's usually pretty empty up here which is nice uh, that way you can really hammer out some work with some amazing ocean views so I'll give you the full 360, but I want to check out the ocean really quick. What? Look at that. And then right here, we have Roar Science Hall. So this building was actually just renovated this last year, and it's home to a lot of our dry sciences. So like engineering, a lot of our physics, as well as just a lot of our professors have their offices out of this building really fun it looks really cool the thing i love about point loma i'll put it back to me and do a little fun there's us in the ocean really fun thing about point loma is that the buildings all around campus are very different very fun it keeps you on your toes and it's nothing's like very plain and boring everything has a lot of really cool character and architecture oh we got a lot of really cool comments coming in wow beautiful thank you isabella Okay, we have um, some landscapers, so it's a little loud, but hopefully you can hear my louder voice. Ooh, I spy a, a chemist working very hard in there. Here we have the Alpha and Omega. Oh, look at the, the cool shadows that those make. Oh. Truly a beautiful day here at Loma. It's usually completely packed with people because of COVID. There have been less people walking around, but still a very fun, lively campus atmosphere. We just have to wear our masks and stay safe and keep with COVID CDC guidelines. I'm gonna point out some things up here and hopefully the connection doesn't get bad while I can. Okay, connection is maintaining, this is good. So this is Kathleen, you can see my shadow. Yes, I am six foot three, haha. <laughs> um, but you can see all these names up here. These are people that have graduated in the past. So they kind of line our entire Kathleen. Um, so hopefully I'll have my name on one of these in a couple of years. I'm really stoked about it. All right, so right here, this is our School of Theology and Christian Ministry. It's called SME Hall. So we have an amazing theology and Christian ministry apartment. Um, so coming here at Point Loma, we ask that you take three different Bible classes, an Old Testament class, a New Testament class, and then an upper division of your choosing. So like I'm taking women in Christian tradition right now. Uh, so it's really fun and it's really engaging. Um, and I absolutely love it. And then I also want to point out, this is our Prescott Prayer Chapel. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. It's closed right now. I can't get in because of COVID and everything. We just want to make sure it's all sanitary and everything. Um, but it's an amazing spot just to calm down during a busy week. If you want to quiet your heart, anything like that, that is always available. So we'll keep walking. I'm going to 
flip it back to me. Not modern. I actually like We have some fun students. Any questions that you guys have? So far, anything you want to throw out, Aiden? Uh, Cap Lane is typically your most crowded part of campus, but with COVID, as Jordan says, you're not, not seeing as many people, but typically on your average day, you're going to walk down Cap Lane and see at least 15 to 20 people that you know. Um, we have some restaurants coming up that we can show you guys about, and the Cap, um, which is predominantly what makes up Cap Lane, but this is Hence your social calf, function area. So, woo! Thank you for that, Aiden. You can still see the ocean basically at all points of campus. That's kind of my favorite part of it. Ooh, let's walk up. Should we walk upstairs behind? Sure. Give them the full, the full view. Perfect. So we are walking behind Bryant Library right now. I should have brought like my GoPro, a little st more stable. Um, how much is it for one year? We just got that question. So it averages um, uh, roughly around like forty to 50000 a year. It kind of changes each year, but most students do not pay that number. I do definitely do not pay that number. Um, a lot of our students get merit-based scholarships, finance-based scholarships. The nice thing about Point Loma is that they're amazing about giving scholarships. So there's an amazing resource um, at our financial aid department where they're definitely there to help you get that cost down and make this school work for you. So that's a really nice. Good question, Gina. Ooh, and then Isabella also asked a question, which part of PLNU do you like more, like the most? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a great question. Um, I really like this spot. I think it's really fun for like having study groups and everything. But I definitely love the Greek, I think, the most. Um, we'll be stopping there um, towards the end of it, so you'll be able to see it and everything. Um, but it's absolutely stunning. So this is a really fun study spot as well. It's just right above the library, and it has a really good view. There's our cafeteria right there. This is like the second floor of Nicholson Commons, and then there's the ocean, and then there's this really cool dome, and the offices of Strengths and Vocations right up top. So. Oh, Amanda's, uh, Miranda's completing her application for Point Loma while watching this. Beautiful. Good job, Miranda. Amazing work. Do you want to throw out the early action deadline? Is this Sunday, people? Put that in. I applied early action. Was super thankful because right around December, I was able to get my acceptance and it made Christmas very, very happy for me. Okay, Gina is saying, I am considering on transferring to Point Loma. I want to attend a private Christian university after I'm finished with two years at Bakersfield College. Oh, awesome, Gina. Yeah, it's really easy to transfer into Point Loma as well. Um, we have an amazing transfer student population on campus um, and it's really fun and you're still gonna meet a bunch of amazing people. And the nice thing about Point Loma is everybody's very community-based and connection-based. So they wanna become your friend, get to know who you are, uh, so you're not just another number whatsoever. Yes, Sarah. Sarah came to Point Loma as a transfer, and it was her best decision ever. Thank you for that, Sarah. So we have a bunch of tents set up on Calf Lane right now, just because a lot of our seating inside of the cafeteria had to get distanced. So we're allowing for more seating outside, same with on the inside. A lot of really fun study spots. Don't want to distract people from studying, but it is what it is. So yeah, it's just really fun. As you can see, people are still engaging with one another. I see some people up there. There's people eating. Are you yeah, we are. Hi. That's Liv. She works for admissions. Come here. Come here. Okay, we have more questions coming in. That's so cool, Sarah. Yes, thanks, Gina. People probably love that I'm just reading off. We're upstairs now. See amazing cafeteria options as well inside of there. 
I know, I see Mary Paul up there. A celebrity sighting. Okay, perfect. So we'll go, we should go inside. This is Nicholson Commons. We're running COVID tests right out there. Oh, Miranda, I was your tour guide. Are you serious? That is insane. <gasps> Kenna, there's one of our amazing admissions counselors. Woo! Thank you. Okay. So this is Nicholson Commons. We're currently inside of it. The nice thing about Point Loma right now, we have these amazing temperature readers um, set up in basically every single building. That way you can make sure to stay safe. Um, I'm gonna set this right here. There's my little hydro flask. Actually, I'll hold it still. Um, but this is inside Nicholson Commons. So as you can see, that is our bookstore right there. So it's the best place to get all of your Point Loma merch and swag and everything you would want from Point Loma. I can even take them inside of it and give you guys a little tour of that. So let me flip it around. Let me know if you guys want me to pick you up anything. I can ship it your way. Or you can just check out the Point Loma bookstore website. I spy another admissions counselor right over there. Hello. That's Alex Sajati. Hydro flask at the bookstore. She's picking up a hydro <laughs> flask. Not even on the hydro flask website. So. Oh, amazing! Oh, Lily said her purchase. admissions counselor is McKenna, who we also oh, love. She was just here. I, we just showed her. She was just right outside. Love it. Amazing. So this is the bookstore. They also have a bunch of really cool, like you can pick up notebooks, anything that you may need. Uh, the nice thing about the bookstore is that you can rent all of your textbooks through here uh, and it makes it really, really easy. That's what I do every single year and you can rent them, pick them up, and then by the end of the year, you can just return them right back here. So it makes it super easy and super convenient. Uh, Gina asked, do you recommend living on campus or off campus? So actually sev over 70% of our students do choose to live on campus all four years. Uh, and I think that just speaks to the beautiful ocean views that we have. Um, so that's really nice. They make it really easy to live on campus all four years. Um, so I definitely would recommend living on campus. The ocean views are amazing. What do you think, Aiden? Uh, I think living on campus is an essential part. Your freshman year, you have to live on campus. I think your sophomore year too. Mm -hmm. um, and it just helps you build community. Uh, all the guys in my hall that I had my freshman year, I still am really close with. So it's definitely a essential part of Loma and it allows you to build that community aspect that we're talking about. Woo. So yeah, it's really, really easy um, and really fun to live on campus all four years. Okay, so this is Bobby B's Coffee Company. So a little bit about Bobby B. He is our president, mm -hmm. our, our love, the love of our life. We love him so much. Uh, we have a really close connection with him and we decided to name a coffee company after him. So Bobby B's is basically just a Starbucks. It serves all things Starbucks. I'll show you a little bit inside. And I don't know how open it is right now. It doesn't look like it's super open. Oh, it is open, hey. Okay, so it's basically a Starbucks. You can order all of your pumpkin spice lattes, whatever you need. And then right behind it, there's what's called Point Break Cafe. It's basically just a cafe that serves sandwiches, um, salads, anything like that. Also acai bowls, jamba juice, the works. So it's really, really yummy. Okay, and then right in here is Breakers Market. So we like to say that's a gas station without the gas. So they have all your snacks, goodies, anything you might need in between classes, as well as really easy to go lunches that you can just pick up, so. And we're walking through some more. This is our health and wellness center. So especially right now, it's very useful. They've been leading our amazing COVID reactionary plans. Um, so they're able to figure out how many students get tested each week um, and everything like that. But they care about your mental health as well. So we offer free counseling sessions for um, incoming freshmen, everything like that. So if you're having a tough time with the transition or just need somebody to talk to, they are your people. And then flu shots, they also give flu shots. I just got mine from there. Um, so it's an amazing, amazing center. We have an ATM, uh, everything you might need. Here's our new and improved center for intercultural development. So this is where a lot of our um, diversity clubs meet. So like we have Unite, we have um, a bunch of amazing clubs that meet out of here. It's our Mosaic Lounge, but you can see a lot of them up there. We have our Asian Student Union, our Black Student Union, Delta Alpha, Phi, Delta Alpha Pi, um, as well as Unite, which is an amazing club as well. 
Um, but yeah, and this was just renovated this last year. Um, Trish says, I'm transferring to Point Loma in the spring and was wondering if you recommend bringing your car. Ooh, I would recommend bringing your car. It just makes it very nice, especially since we're located so close to everything on campus. Um, and we're in such an amazing part of San Diego, so it's really easy to get everywhere. Um, definitely don't need to bring a car. There are uh, a bunch of... Sorry, I was getting a phone call from my mother. Um, but there's a bunch of different options, such as our on-campus shuttle, off-campus shuttle. There's an amazing public transportation system here in San Diego. Oh, we're getting live again. Hey. As well as we have what are called zip cars on campus. So these are an amazing way just to get around town and everything like that. Okay, amazing. Isabella, thank you. You are great. Okay, we're gonna go out this way just to see if the arc is open. Woo. So this is the arc. Let me see if it's open right now. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so this is an amazing place. It's called the Activities and Recreation Center. And basically, it is home to all of our fun ways to just stay busy. So um, this place has a bunch of fun ping pong table set up. We have, what is that thing called? You can rent equipment. Well, not oh, yeah. Work. Yeah, you can rent equipment out of there. Let me turn this back on to me. Uh, so like freshman year, I didn't know how to surf. I wanted to rent out a surfboard, so I just rented a quick surfboard out of there. You can rent camping equipment out of there. Literally anything you want, they have it. Um, and it's super affordable. It's some of the cheapest in San Diego. So definitely would check that out if you're wanting to camp go anywhere they lead a lot of camping expeditions out of there um, so they want to stay really connected okay so I'm gonna try and get a close-up with our president I see him walking down right now How are you all? pretty good how's that we're dining in the cold okay so he's right here it's very exciting yeah yep we are live right now on Point Loma's Instagram hey this is Bobby B we let Bob Brower, but we like to call him Bobby B. Yeah. It's our president I don't on have campus. A real name. No, yeah, no, that's it's right. real yeah, name. Yeah, you have yeah. a coffee company. That's right. And yeah. that's about that. Any, any advice to our incoming students, our prospective students? Oh, man, we, we love to have you here. This is a great place to be. Terrific campus, but best of all, really good people around here. And our students lead the way in good people. So come on, Amen. join us, be a part of this. Woo. Thank you all so right. much. See you guys. Well, that was an exciting, exciting part of our live tour. Wasn't even planned, so that's really exciting. Okay, we're kind of walking through a really pretty part of campus, so I'll get it away from me. And we'll just kind of zoom in. That right down there is Jim Bond Academic Center. So that's home to our journalism, literature, writing departments. Amazing departments out of there. I'm about to take a really fun um, lit class. It's called Diverse Voices in American Literature. So there's a bunch of really amazing classes offered through our literature department, um, as well as through writing and journalism. So if that's something you're interested in, that whole department is yours with those amazing ocean views. You could pinch yourself every day in class, but you just have to get here first. And then we'll keep walking. That's our cool clock tower. I think it's just gorgeous. We'll walk over to the calf. Sounds good. I don't have any slides here. I know, we're just gonna we're just gonna stand out front of it. So yes, this is the second floor of Nicholson Commons. We're gonna be doing more of these lives, so we'll probably give a more in detail look at the cafeteria. Um, but for right now I wanna do a little sneak peek. This is sand from our sand ceremony. I'll talk about more of that later. Um, but yeah, that's our calf right inside there. Um, and we'll get you guys another live to go inside of it. But basically it's really amazing. There's always a bunch of options. Right now everything is prepackaged just because of COVID, um, but it's really, really yummy. Oh, Tarina just saw me. Hi, Tarina. Thanks for joining. I almost pressed end on accident, thank God. Okay. As you can 
can see Point Loma is very green. Lots of flora and fauna. They're waving. Hello. Hey. See, everyone's so nice here. Okay. Uh, Gina asked, do you know any good local churches around campus? That's something that will be important for me. Oh, yes. Um, so the nice thing, we do a whole church fair um, uh, within the first couple weeks at Point Loma. So you'll be able to, a lot of our local churches around San Diego will come and set up around tables like these and just talk to students, see like kind of if they're interested in coming. And there's a lot of churches that provide like shuttle transportation directly from Point Loma. Um, and there's a lot of really awesome churches around. I know I went to Park Hill for a long time. That's in like Liberty Station area, which is really close to campus. Um, but we even have a church right on campus. Um, it's our Nazarene church. So it's really close um, if you just want a church on campus. And we also um, hold four chapel services each week. Um, so those are amazing services as well. Um, but hopefully that answers your question, Gina. I'm trying to see. Um, Tucker asked, where do the nursing students attend class offline, campus, or offsite? So there are um, a few nursing classes on campus. So like in our um, Seder Hall, our biochem department, a lot for their GE, um, as well as Liberty Station, which is about 10 minutes um, right by the harbor. Um, so we have our shuttle that goes there. It's really easy for students to get to, but they t attend a lot of classes there, as well as starting your sophomore year in the nursing department you get in with clinicals, so you'll be going directly to a hospital and the hospital will become your classroom, which is really fun um, and a really unique part of our nursing department. Um, and if you are applying nursing, definitely do it early. That way you make sure that you get in um, with everything checked out and all that. I wanted to point out this is Cooper Music Center. Uh, so it is amazing, beautiful, huge. There's this huge performance hall in there called Krill um, and it's an amazing part where um, there's a lot of performances held out of there uh, and just amazing for our acapella groups, choir, band, orchestra. Um, they use that a lot just to perform and compete. Uh, and there's a lot of really fun music classes offered on campus as well. There's Aiden again. I'm gonna show right down there, that's Jim Bond. Um, right next door is our tutoring labs and services. So we offer free tutorings for all of our students. Um, it is completely free. The nice thing about it is that uh, all of the tutoring on campus is being done by a person that got an A in that class and got that signed off by that professor that they're able to tutor and everything. So you don't have to worry about it. It's very nice if you're working on a hard paper or you just are really struggling with a concept. They know exactly what to expect and what the professor is looking for and can help you through that process. And then right next door to that is our Office of Global Studies. So last year I studied abroad in Italy. It was the best experience of my life um, and I would definitely recommend it. Um, it should be opening back up soon. And so that's amazing, definitely an awesome opportunity. And one third of our students do choose to study abroad at some point um, throughout their Point Loma career. And the nice thing is that um, almost all programs other than our semester at sea program are the same exact cost, if not cheaper to study. Um, so it was, cheaper for me to go to Florence, Italy, um, which was a really awesome opportunity. And that's nice because all of your scholarships do transfer over. And then right here is our golden gym. So a really fun fact is that back in 1964, a guy named Martin Luther King spoke in there. So it is the San Diego historical landmark. And we have a really awesome podium and dedication to him. So that is where all of our basketball tournaments, volleyball tournaments, everything like that take place out of. And there's an awesome gym in there as well, available to our students, just as long as there's no tournaments going on, obviously. Uh, but they have the ellipticals, treadmills, everything like that. So let me make sure that we're getting all of our questions answered. Lauren, yes, we'll be doing um, dorm tours and everything. Um, those will be more comprehensive and just focused individually on each dorm. And the nice thing, if um, you can't make any of these by chance, we'll be posting these videos on the Instagram. Um, that way you can check back with them all the time and it won't just be me each time either that way you get some differing perspectives which is nice um i do not i might know isabella camargo and it's nice because yes we do know a lot of our students just because um it's such a great number of students on campus to where you can really get to know a lot of the students um and grow really great relationships with all of them so never know and then 
We'll keep walking up along Calf Lane. This is Solomon Theater right here. So it's home to our theater department. We do have a theater minor offered on campus, as well as we'll have our fall play, spring musical. These are really amazing to take part of. I took a theater class last semester, um, so I got to perform in there and it was really fun. Um, as well as I checked out the spring musical and fall play last year and they were amazing. Shout out to our theater students. They are awesome and continue to blow me away with their talent. I wish I had half the talent that they have. And then right next door is Keller Visual Art Center. So we have an amazing art department on campus um, with whether that's with just regular arts or ceramics. We have our ceramics labs in there. We have an art gallery in there. And it's amazing to check that out um, just to see a lot of your local art made by students that you probably know. So it's amazing. We also have 3D printers out there and amazing views in that art center. And as you can see, the calf lane kind of just keeps going. This is towards the end of it. So I'm gonna kind of slow down, see if there's more questions that any of you guys have. So as you guys can see, that was calf lane and it is quite long, quite the walk, but it's really fun, really pretty, really beautiful. We'll probably go check out the Greek and walk behind just to get a full glimpse of Kathleen again and then and then see if you guys have any more questions to answer but yeah we'll walk to the Greek really quick and like I said there's going to be a bunch more that we're doing of these just to give you guys a good perspective of our campus So when you type in Point Loma, this is probably the first image that pops up. This is our Greek amphitheater. So it is the oldest Greek amphitheater in the Western Hemisphere. And you can look that up as I'm speaking. It is built in 1901 and it is super old, but super amazing in a center part of our campus. So a lot of our students, when they ask, what's your favorite part about Point Loma? They might say the Greek, they'll probably say the Greek. It's an awesome part and just, really sacred and as you can see it's usually never really packed or anything so it's an awesome spot if you want to study or anything like that a lot of my classes have been moved out here i'll have small groups out here they do awesome christmas tree lighting ceremonies they'll do Chris, um movies in the greek where they throw up a big projector screen as well as they'll have dances in here my favorite dance is the loman after empire dance which is a huge toga party that they do uh, so basically everybody rips off their bed sheets, wraps it around them as a toga, and they use it to party in. So it's really fun. They'll have LaCroix out. It's a great time. Um, and then a really other fun part about our Greek is that we start and end our time here at Loma in the Greek. Uh, so we'll start off with what's called the sand ceremony, where everybody will come by, drop a little pinch of sand in this huge tank, and it kind of represents what you're bringing to Point Loma, all the experience that you've had. And then our graduation also takes place in the Greek. So upon graduation, as you walk down right over there, you'll go up in the center, get your diploma from Bobby V. He'll also give you a little vial of sand. And that just represents all that you're bringing away from Point Loma, all the experiences and memories that you've made. Uh, so I really love that. It's a really fun, special part of our campus. So that is the Greek right there. We'll walk back up through it. I'm checking to see if you guys have any questions. It's a little breezy and my hair is flowing, but that's okay. Oh, thank you, Pamela. You're perfect. She said this college is perfect. Of course it is. Hey, hi everybody that's saying hi. So we're kind of gonna walk through the backside. I'm gonna give you guys some time to answer any questions that you might have, anything like that. And I'll also be throwing out a little something on the story afterwards, just to see if this was helpful for you and kind of what you thought about this. 
That's Cabrillo Hall. That's home to our communications department. It's an amazing department. There's a lot of history within that building as well. It was built in 1901 as well. And the cool thing about our communications department, we actually have one of the number one speech and debate teams. So if you're interested in speech and debate at all, definitely would recommend checking that out on campus. Um, but I've had a lot of communications classes in there. A really awesome major that we have on campus is called MOCM. It stands for Managerial Organizational Communication Management. So a lot of my roommates are that, and it's an amazing department where they focus on a lot of the business side of communication. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely would recommend taking a look at that. Okay, awesome. And this is kind of wraps us around back to the cafeteria. There's Christian. It's my old roommate I just saw. All right, and this is our infamous clock tower. It's so exciting. We're kind of reaching the end of this. So are there any last questions you guys have? Let me know. Oh, what's my Instagram? Oh, I'll throw that in the, the chat. Don't have to tell me twice. What? Oh, yes, of course. Also, if you guys want um, to follow us on Zimi, I would definitely recommend that. We have a very big presence on Zemi. It's called Z-E-E-M-E-E. -E -E. And so Aiden and I are both ambassadors there and we will keep you guys updated through that um, and just whatever questions you guys have. And we post a lot of other really fun videos about campus on there. So I'll throw that into the text as well. Perfect. But yes, it was amazing having all of you guys on campus. I'm gonna end this. Oh, this is really good lighting right here. I'll end right here. Um, but it was amazing seeing all of your questions. Thank you guys so much. And we will be doing a lot more of these. So let us know if you guys have any other like places that you wanna see. We'll be doing dorm tours. Um, we'll be checking out a lot of the departments around campus just to give you guys an idea of what everything looks like on side because we know it is a troubling time right now getting over here um, that way we want to make sure it's accessible for everybody so we had so much fun we'll be throwing some really fun information out soon so make sure to take a look to that and we'll be posting this on the instagram also so if you want to go back watch anything over again we will totally be doing that so hope you guys have a blessed day and i will be logging off and admiring this view for the rest of the day so bye you guys bye okay